Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I'll tell you how does alcohol affect the brain. Who says that drinking a beer makes you fat? It makes you lean on tables, chairs and poles. This Gerard Wakequit says it all about an alcoholic state within the framework of humor. Does your fun filled night land you near the toilet seat leaving you with heavy head and an unbearable headache? These are but some of the after effects of consuming excessive alcohol. Alcohol makes people do strange things apart from making them clumsy and restless. It also makes the reflexes slow. All these effects of alcohol on a person raise serious question on the possible danger of alcohol consumption on the brain cells of a person. Apart from the immense harm it can cause to the human body, consumption of alcohol by a member of a family can also have undesired consequences on other members of the family as well. This video however will dwell on the possible effects of alcohol on brain. Now general effects of alcohol on brain. The effects of alcohol on brain can be clearly seen in a person who is drunk. Alcohol consumption leads to the contraction of brain tissues causing a depression in the central nervous system. Excessive alcohol consumption can also lead to brain cell damage. Excessive drinking over a period of time can cause serious problems like affecting, affecting cognition and memory as brain cells are not regenerative. Alcohol also affects the communication between nerve cells once it reaches the brain. Too much of alcohol suppresses the excitatory nerve pathway and increases the activity of the restrictive nerve pathway. It is for this reason that a drunken person cannot speak or walk properly. It leads to slugginess in the person. Now, cerebral cortex and alcohol. The central cortex is that part of the brain that is responsible for processing information from your senses, processing thoughts, initiating the majority of voluntary muscles and exercising control over the lower order brain center. Alcohol consumption can affect the thought process guided by the cerebral cortex that can lead to poor judgment and understanding in a person. Alcohol can also react in a way to lower inhabitation, making a person more talkative and overconfident. Now the limbic system and alcohol. The limbic system is that area in the brain which consists of the genius hippocampus and the septate area. The limbic system is the one that controls the emotions and the memory of the person. Excessive and continuous alcohol consumption might react with the system in a way that the person might suffer memory loss and may have exaggerated states of emotion. Now cerebellum and alcohol. Now the cerebellum is that part of the brain that helps one in coordinating muscle movements. The muscle movements are initiated by the signal from the cerebral cortex that passes by the medulla and the spinal cord to the muscles. Now when the nerves, nerve signals pass through the medulla, they get influenced by the nerve impulses from the cerebellum which leads to the execution of fine movements including the one required for the balance. Alcohol impinges on this contribution of the cerebellum and thus affects muscle movements. Now, hypo Thalamus and alcohol. Hypothalamus plays a variety of roles and is responsible for some important functions of the brain. One of the main functions of the hypothalamus is that it releases hormones through the pituitary gland. Alcohol can interfere with the function of hypothalamus and increase the sexual desire in a person. Alcohol on one hand increases the sexual desire but at the same time decreases sexual performance. This imbalance can lead to cases of erectile dysfunction. Now pituitary gland and alcohol. Alcohol consumption can also interfere with the functions of the kidneys by stopping the secretion of antidiuretic hormones from the pituitary gland. ADH, antidiuretic hormone, is something that helps kidney in absorbance of required amount of water from the body. Therefore, 
Alcohol consumption affects the water consumption by the kidney by means of affecting the flow of ADH. Alcohol can also affect the normal digestive functions of the body. Now medulla and alcohol. The medulla is an important part of the brain that performs certain crucial functions like controlling the involuntary functions of the body such as the heartbeat, body temperature and breathing. Alcohol consumption can also affect the interfere with the smooth functioning of the medulla making a person feel sleepy. Excessive consumption can also make a person fall unconscious. So thank you. Please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comments.